Okay, I'm just making the a patch plates. There wasn't quite enough uh, metal going on there. I've just got to do a patch plate there, so I'm going to cut it out with the air, air nibbler. Okay, we're all welded in. Just got to grind the weld flat and then put some filler in. I've had to do a little patch in the corner. The uh, bulkhead panel didn't extend far enough down. I missed some rot. I back plated that, shaped it, and that'll look all right when that's um, seam welded up and filled. Then often tricky to get the sander in there, but we'll get in. So that's the patch in. It wasn't too bad. Um, not a bad fit. Just grind uh, this weld down, then we'll skim that. That'll blend in nicely. That's just a primer just for now. I'm gonna put take it back to metal. Um, Q rust it and then uh, reprime it again. Uh, obviously, I'll do the other side and then I'll um, that whole panel is ready to go back. And what I'm going to do is before this goes on, this is your, your inner scuttle. Obviously, that needs cleaning up. Um, that's going to fit back in there. It should make back up where it came off. Mate straight back in like that. We'll have to get the, uh, the sapphire blue on the bulkhead painted ready otherwise I won't be able to get the paint in so I'll probably do that uh, dashboard and that paint I'll paint them so that's it for today not too bad got to uh, raise up 90% of the target got done just look at that little patch I've run out of gas actually and it's getting a bit late so so there we go Planet Rock breaking up. Planet Rock breaking up. We're on. Updates, updates. Six, six of Jan. We, uh, six of Jan. We are still repairing the bulkhead. I've had to replace more than initially thought uh, because look what we got. Some pickling on the lower bulkhead, which only showed up when I really vigorously. Cleaned it. However, I should have spotted the clues on the other side. Really, um, when you're looking at the the pickled surface, it's often the case that it's about to to break through, like it has done here. Although not always, depending on the gauge of the metal, I suppose. This had gone there, so I thought I may as well chop the remainder, good, mainly good bulkhead out of this, and I've had to. Uh, Pop it, pop it into here. It's, it's delayed me uh, a night, so I'm behind a bit because of that. So we're in. There's your join there. Can't quite see it. Just skimming over that now. I've ground the weld down. Uh, there's a join there. There's a join there. Now, bearing in mind that this is the inner bulkhead, it's not actually seen, although I like it to be neat and tidy. So our inner scuttle covers this, and then the final scuttle panel goes over that with your air intake grill and your heater box is covering a large element this area is seen so we've got to make sure this is bang on uh, the body shop will be doing that we're putting down a basic skim just to give them a shape define the shape we'll let the body shop finish the finish on that one so we're going up to that line there that's what I'm concerned with I'm not bothered about this area for now so fix that today we've done the top of the a post as on the previous vid uh, behind the dash I've put some bracing plates as well just for extra strength and it helped me when I was um, seam welding it in it is quite difficult when you're doing a butt weld to get it so that when you grind the the grind uh, bead down the weld the weld bead down that you don't actually the weld bead becomes the actual bond and you grind too much down and you find that the panels break apart again because You've not got the bead to to join the panels up. <clears throat> I had that in one patch here, so I've rebraced it, and then I've um, I've welded back from the front and ground back, and just to be double sure, I've uh, bridged it with these these plates. So I ain't going nowhere. Uh, it's not under any particular force, but it does form the cross brace section of the car, so it's as well to get it solid. It's not going anywhere. That we're going to seam seal that now just so that on the unlikely event any water does get there it's not going to come inside the car although I can't see uh, it being a problem there's a strip to create here an a right angled strip that creates a bond here this 
this gap's to do with a piece of missing panel I'm not sure what's actually happened because on this car if you look there is no gap and that piece folds over butting up to the edge on, on this car that piece doesn't seem to be extens I'm wondering if it was running along that line there but there's no evidence of it being cut off but I'm thinking that it did I'm thinking that this extended over there and filled that that gap so if you look at it on that one you've got this camera doesn't uh, there you go it's decided to focus now so you've got that piece the and then to this one that's not just so we're going to make we're using this right angle forming tool I've just made a, a, a right angle there so actually just over um, is that 45 and 90 I can never remember uh, 90 it's just under 90 so I've gone for 45 I'm hoping that's 45 uh, 45, 90, yeah it is half it. So anyway, there you go. That's a good tool to have um, for making edges, right angles. Uh, it attaches into your vise and I've done this on a, a swivel vise so I can undo these levers on the swivel vise and move that if I need to work this end or whatever. And get, makes it uh, quite a nice little setup that. And that's connected to an RSJ which I picked up for 35 quid I think which makes a great base so that works well and you can take it all apart in December um, I did that because there was no decent work tables around for a good price and um, obviously it's on the floor so you've got that sort of um, the height it's not ideal bending over but I've done a lot of my work I'm, I'm crawling around on the floor so I'm actually not too bad and the floor's warm so anyway that's uh, that's that piece which we now will offer up into that gap so that we've got a join between those panels this will need cutting now so we're ready to uh, fit that I'll resume when that's fitted we're going to punch some holes in it with the new tool we've got a hole punch here which is very handy makes uh, light work of stuff like this so We'll get that ready and get the welder fired up, get that fitted. Just punching the repair panel. Away we go. As you can see, you get your nice weld holes there. And you're good to go. Okay, you saw the uh, hole punch there. This is the, we're still carrying on fabricating this repair panel. I'm now just getting the shape right. We've used this air tool here to cut through. That gives you a nice nibble cut. You could use an angle grinder, a hacksaw, but it's just quicker with the uh, nibbler cleaner as well. So I've nibbled that out. And I've made two cuts, I've got one in the top section there, one in the bottom. That gives me two angles, which matches the profile of this. So when you put the plate up into that shape, let's just get that right now. It's got to go the right way around. I think it's following it that way, that's what I want. And then up we go like that. So we start to get the shape that we need. And I'll keep adjusting that now and then we'll spot weld it in position. You see how we're making the shape. Okay, let's get a spot weld into that gap, then we seam seal that. This infill panel is now nicely shaped to match that profile, so we're going to spot weld that in. And that'll complete that repair. Okay, I've lined up the panels so they're flush. Got my infill bracket in there. 
I'm going to uh, seam weld down there now for extra strength. I've checked the inside of the uh, windscreen rubber. It's going to be flush with the the A pillar, so uh, the windscreen rubber will fit nice. Uh, so we're ready to weld that up. Then we're going to seam seal it. That's that corner repair looking okay. Taking my mask off there. Yeah, get that uh, the remainder of the under seal off. I've uh, used the angle grinder with a decent um, proper twisted uh, wool, uh, twisted wire steel, knotted steel, the knotted steel cup head, four inch one on that. Took most of this off, and now just uh, go over it with a burner. Just gets in the last little bit and takes out the last bits of that under seal so we want to see what condition this panel's in whether it needs replacing or what but it doesn't the top half I wasn't sure I knew the bottom half was okay and we'd already repaired that piece but that uh, okay so it's just that patch there we just patch there we're okay other than that we're on, we're game on, we'll give that some rust proof, uh, Q rust and see how it comes up. We're looking okay there. We've now done the the body filler. I've just Q rusted this just to uh, treat it before it gets its primer. That's uh, that's blending in nice. Pity the camera doesn't focus, I don't know why it does that. There's your bulkhead repair. Turn that stupid thing off. Got some, we're going to do some sealing work under here now. That's been rust proofed, so we're ready to body seal that. I'm fabricating a, a repair piece at the top of the egg panel. This is a right angle section that's going to go underneath the wing wing runner and I'll just reinforce the top of the A panel. So I'm putting a 45, a 90 degree bend in that. Sorry. There we go to get the 
the bend in the, the metal bender. Maybe just a touch more. We can just support that. Give us a right angle. Okay, got a rough cut on that panel. There's a repair piece going in top of the A panel. It's going to form the top of the um, top of the wing rail as well. We would have cut that to shape. I'll give you the piece to attach to the wing rail. I'm going to just cut that, line it up. I'm not quite sure how it looks, so I'll just get it roughly in place, and then we can cut it in situ to fit.
Okay, uh, we're on the set six. Still on the sixth of Jan, two thousand and twelve. We're cleaning up now the top section of the A panel. In earlier videos, you saw me working on the bottom piece, rebuilding the jacking points, stitching a piece in here for the lower A panel because there was enough solid metal to justify keeping that panel. We've cleaned up the top now. As you know, earlier in the video, we fabricated a plate. I've seam sealed the plate in, and now there's some. There's a tab uh, at the top of this A post, which was, there's the tab. I've extended a piece of metal inside there because there was some pinhole rusts and I've, I've drilled and welded them out. And the tab extends it, that had corroded away. So I've created some more metal in there, a right angle, there's a triangle to infill. So that's going to follow flush all the way around, then we'll grind the correct shape into that, grind that excess metal off the top there. That'll make that neat so that um, when this panel comes on here, it's got a nice flange to sit on, and that'll match up with that flange. Okay, so that's what we're doing next. Yeah, this video just shows, I'm just getting to make sure everything's in line. The original spot weld marks, because the um, bulkhead repair, this is from the other car I'm kind of like just around that zone where they uh, just got to shift it around a little bit just to get the edges to meet make sure it all fits but we won't be fitting that until both sides are done this is just a little mock up just before I start moving on to the rest of the car that's what I do that here we go here we go now finish off that bit, I've just sliced that top, I'm going to take that out now, then we'll weld the triangle in there, and then I'll cut, I'll follow that contour line round, and we'll finish that off. Okay, uh, I've just welded the uh, infill piece into that top flange, now I'm going to get the, the shape that I need. It has to marry this panel here, so that's your scuttle, so the scuttle's going to end up fitting on the top there of the inner scuttle. So the shape of this just needs to match that profile there, just not really that important. It's fit together nice. Get that all to fit in. Okay, I'm having problems with the scuttle because the wing's still attached on that side and it has to fit under the wing, see, so it's kicking it up, so I can't really get this uh, right ripping that other side off. I'm not ready to work on that other side. So I'll get this approximate, I can always file it in. So we're going to finish this repair now and get it seam sealed. So that is, then it's game over, that is just done. I can just uh, move on to another section of the 